Hi guys and girls and all my friends. It's a time for another Bible lesson and I pray that you're ready. This one's simply going to be called Turn My Frown. Let me show you my frown. Turn My Frown Upside Down. Turn My Frown Upside Down. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I once heard somebody say that happy people are not always grateful, but grateful people are always happy. So let me ask you, how can you remain grateful, especially in a time like this when all you can want to feel like doing is maybe fuss, fuss, fuss? When I'm recording this outside, it's pouring the rain, and I can just look out there and hear that. And it's hard to be grateful on a day like this. But the Lord tells us that we can be. His Word tells us to be. And the way that you do it is you have to be intentional. Now let's look at some terms first. What is a grateful person? The dictionary says that a grateful person is feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness. A grateful person is very thankful. So if we have to be intentional, that means it has to be done on purpose. When you wake up in the morning, you have to say, Lord, turn my frown upside down. Let me be grateful today. And I have to do this the same as you do. The first way, I'm going to give you maybe three or four ways to be a grateful person. First one is making a list of all of the things that you are grateful for. It doesn't take long. You know, I, I've encouraged you to keep a notebook like I've got or some kind of journal. And so just make a list once you get uh, through with this video. Sit down and just make a small list right now of every one of your blessings. We used to sing this song. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. So count your blessings and start naming them. I watched the most pitiful show uh, Hallie and I did about a little boy. It was called The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And I could not believe how sad it was to think of how kids were treated a long time ago. You have been treated so well compared to the rest of the nation. So remember that. When you think, and I pray that you'll have compassion on other people that are not as well off as you. The other thing on number one, besides counting your blessings, is set an alarm. And when that alarm goes off, like on your phone, on your mama's phone, whatever you want to do, you have to name five blessings really fast or five things that you're grateful for. Just name them off like that. I can name all of you six grandchildren. You all are my blessings. And I thank God for you. And so are all of you watching. I thank God for you watching or I wouldn't have anybody to talk to. So you thank God for your blessings. The second thing is every day. And even when it's like this, even when it's a rainy day, I'm recording this on Wednesday, and even when it's a rainy day, see if you can go out into nature and just smell the, the air and uh, walk, you know, someplace in the woods. My husband and I get up early every morning and go walking in the woods, and we enjoy that time together, and he knows every bird call. Like I say, was that a cardinal? And he said, yes, that's right. And then I don't know anything but a cardinal sound, but he knows all those sounds. But I have learned what a chipmunk sounds like. And God made everything out in nature. So go out in nature and while you're out there say, Lord, I thank you for everything that you made. Because Jesus said when he made it, he made it well. The number three thing is when things don't go your way, focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. And I don't know if you've read about Paul while he was in jail, the Apostle Paul. He was in a Philippian jail and a lot of things happened to him. But he wrote this one verse that I've used so much in my life. 
It's Philippians 4.10. It says, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am there to be content. It means that you can say, Lord, I know you can help me to be content. Even though we're home, even though we're in lockdown, even you seniors, if I have any seniors watching, you can say, Lord, I'm thankful I still get to graduate. All the high schools are planning something. Be grateful that things are as well as they are. Just like Paul, he could have been crying. He was cold. He was miserable. He was in a jail. But he said, rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything give thanks for this is the will of God. He said such good things to encourage us while he was in jail. And if you don't have anything to be uh, happy about, be so thankful that you're not in jail tonight. Wouldn't that be terrible? Number four, remember what Christ did for you. Everybody should have John 3, 16 memorized. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He came to this world to love you and to save you, not so that you would have everything that you would want, because it's been during my hardest times in life that I've learned to be the most grateful, the most thankful, because if I didn't have hard times, then I wouldn't have the times that I have now where I feel this contentment because it wasn't always like this because I didn't read my Bible like I should. So if you put God's Word in your heart, it will help you so much. Now, I've made up a, a song. I borrowed a tune from another little Christian song that I used to sing all the time. And I'm going to try to sing it even though I get the words messed up sometimes. And I would love for you to rewind this and try to learn to sing it. Rewind it. Try to sing it. It goes like this, and I gotta get my little thing so I know what to do. It says, can you see that? Turn my frown upside down, keep me grateful, grateful, grateful. Turn my frown upside down today. Turn my frown upside down, keep me grateful, grateful, grateful. Keep me grateful till the break of day. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, each and every day. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, all along the way. Turn my frown upside down. Keep me grateful, grateful, grateful. Turn my frown upside down today. Turn my frown upside down. Keep me grateful, grateful, grateful. Keep me grateful till the break of day. I pray that God uses this to let you be a happy camper. No matter what you're going through right now, God can give you the peace and help you to be grateful. I'll see you soon.